Hello everyone, you're watching PC Helper and welcome to another video in the Python 3.9 tutorial series. If by the end of this video you feel like you have learned something today, then please leave a like and also don't forget to subscribe to PC Helper for regular content. So in the last video we talked about classes and objects in Python, but the example we took in that video was really a simple one to explain you the basics. But in this video we'll be taking a bit complicated example but which will give you a better understanding of how classes work, objects work and that self keyword works. So what I recommend you to do is, if you haven't watched my first video on classes and objects, then first of all watch that video and then proceed with this video and once you have watched these two videos, all your doubts regarding classes and objects will be cleared. So in this video, we'll be taking an example of a game. So in our game, there will be multiple players. All the players will have a health at the starting of the game. but Whenever a player is punched or kicked, an amount of health will be reduced. And after every time a player is punched or kicked, we want to print how much health is left in that player. So to approach this program, first of all, we'll be making a class called players. And in that class, we will have three different methods. First method will be punch. Second method will be kick. And the third method will be check life or check health. And our objects in this program will be our different players. So all the players will be different objects. So now let's get started with this program. So as we have learned that to make a class, we have to write the keyword class and name our class. So let's name our class players. And now we have to make a method, but before making a method, we have to make a variable called, let's say health or life, anything you can make. And by default, health of all players is 10. Now we'll be making different methods. So the first, first method will be punch with self keyword. And what punch will do is first of all, it will print, let's say um, it hurts. And every time a player is punched, we want to reduce its health. So let's say health is equals to health minus three, or we can write it in short by writing health minus equal three, which stands for health is equals to health minus three. But the thing is health is nothing here. The meaning of health inside a method of a class means nothing because our Python program does not get any idea whose health we want to reduce actually. And we want to reduce health of different objects, or we can say different players. And to make changes to any player or to make changes to any object, we use the keyword self. So now every time any object calls this function, then this self keyword will tell us, let's say we have 10 different objects called player one, player two, player three, till player 10. So let's say player one calls this punch. So now the health of player one will be reduced using this self keyword. If player two calls this punch, now using this self keyword, health of player two will be reduced. Because I've already told you that the self keyword is reserved for the object. Now let's make our second method, which we will call, let's say kick. So what kick will do is it will print something like, um, ouch. And what it will do is it will reduce the health by five. Let's say five. Oh, I forgot to add minus sign here. So minus equal five. And lastly, we want to make a method define, let's say, check health and here what we want to do is if self dot health is less than or equal to zero then we want to print let's say dead and else what we want to do is we want to simply print the health health available now so we can simply print self dot health and we can here also write health is left. So now what it will do is when we will call check health, it will see if the health remaining is less than or equal to zero. If that's the case, it will print that your player is dead Else, what it will print is it will simply print the number which is available for your health. And after it, it will print this much health is left. And now in order to use these three methods, we will be making some objects. So let's say player one is our first object. So players is equal to players. Player two will be our second object. And now in order to call this method, so let's say we want to call our method punch. So we can simply write player one dot punch. And now when I will execute this program, you can see it prints, it hurts. But after punching, I also want to print how much health is left. So I can simply write player one dot check health. 
and now it will print that 7 health is left and before punching if we want to check what was the initial health we can simply write player 1 dot check health before punching the player and now when I will execute this program so 10 health was left in the starting then we punched the player it printed it hurts then 7 health is left but let's say we want to check health every time a player is punched or kicked automatically then what we can do is we can simply call this method called check health inside these methods punch and kick so we can just write self dot check health inside this function and self dot check health inside this kick function too so now we don't have to call this function called check health every time we just have to call it initially to check the initial health and now when i will execute this program so first of all it printed the initial health and then this punch method was called it printed it hurts but inside this punch method check health was called again so it printed 7 health is left and the best part about classes and objects is that that all these methods are independent for all these objects so let's say now we have a second object called player 2 and now when we will call let's say kick and now when i will execute it you can see for player 2 ouch was printed because it was kicked but for player 2 5 health is left whereas for player 1 7 health is left so all these objects are independent and let's say player 2 is kicked again player 2 dot kick and now when i will execute this program you can see second time when the player was kicked then again 5 health was reduced now the health was equal to 0 so it printed dead because in this if, if statement we have written that if self dot health is less than or equal to 0 then print dead so this is how this program works so i hope you like this example where we made a just simple back end working program for a game where we attack a player using punches and kicks and then we check the health of the player after every attack so I hope you like this example. If you like this, then please leave a like. If you have any doubt, you can write in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next one.